McGregor, here we are again. The, you've named the squad for the upcoming championship, the Guinness Six Nations. Now, before we take a deep dive into the team you've selected, just first question, how excited are you, the coaching staff and all the players, to get back playing international rugby after the momentum you gained in the autumn? Yeah, we're really excited. I think the, the news a week ago that we'll have full crowds at our games um, has been a massive boost. Uh, we love this tournament. Uh, we had an unbelievable journey and experience during last year's tournament, but there was no crowds there. So to have crowds back, to have our first game at BT Murrayfield, playing for the Calcutta Cup, um, it focuses the minds, but also gets us very excited. So let's look at the team you've, you've named, Greg. There's some, some new faces coming into the mix uh, for their first experience uh, of uh, international rugby. You've Andy Christie at Saracens in the, in the back row and Rory Darge at Glasgow Warriors in the forwards. We know what Rory's been doing at Glasgow. He's had a, a great season so far. But for those of us maybe that haven't seen Andy down in the Premiership, give us a little bit of a background as to, to what kind of player he is and what we can expect from him. Yeah, well, and, Andy's been at Saracens for a few years. Uh, he broke into the first team last year when, when Saracens won the championship. We've seen him play um, odd games in the, in the bigger games, but really it's this season that, it, that he's broke through, um, playing at number eight, playing at number six, also playing at open side, so he can cover anywhere in the back row. Dynamic ball carrier, uh, he's got some skills, so he understands where to be, running at space, um, could catch pass, but probably his biggest um, strength is his work rate. Uh, which is a great asset to have. Uh, with, with Rory, um, it's great to involve him. He, he was originally in our squad in November, but uh, obviously got a, an injury just before um, we, we went into preparation for Tonga. And it's been good to see him back playing for Glasgow quickly after that injury, but also the, the form he's been has been outstanding. We look at the backs now, Gregor. Scrum half, you've got a lot of competition here and you've, you've gone for Ben Bellicott of Edinburgh and, and Ben White at London Irish. I guess it's good for a coach to have that amount of talent in that position, but just talk us through your decision for who you brought in at Scrum half. Yeah, well, I think most positions that we debate or discuss, there is so much competition just now. So that's a credit to the players um, that are the form that they're in, but also their health. <laughs> they've been um, they've been fit, they've been available for games, available for, for selection. And Scrum Half is one of those positions. We, we had a number of people that we've looked closely at and really we, we want to reward form. Uh, and in the autumn it was Ali, Jamie and uh, and George, um, all from Glasgow. Now Ben White and Ben Velicott have come in based on how they're playing. We feel that um, the form is a very good indicator of how you're, you're going to go approach your next game and the challenge of playing Test Match Rugby, uh, the confidence that you can take that game, uh, but also the, the key position of, of nine having to manage the game. If you're getting regular game time, then that's going to help you play at test level. Ben White is a player that um, we, we've we known has been Scottish qualified for, for a number of years. He was at Leicester from a very young age, um, didn't play that much for them over the last couple of seasons but his move to London Irish has sort of rekindled his career. He's, he's been excellent down there. Uh, he's got an all-round game. Uh, the basics are, are very good. Um, he's, he's a tough competitor, likes to defend, but he's also got a break and an eye for a gap, uh, which is certainly something Ben Velcott's got. Uh, he has thrived in the Edinburgh environment, the rugby that Edinburgh are playing this season. Uh, his initiative that he'll take, whether it's a quick tap penalty, taking on a gap, but also his work rate, his, his speed to, to get to um, the, the rucks and to be there in support uh, has been a, a massive factor in Edinburgh's success this season. Yeah, you mentioned Ben, he's at London Irish. Another player you brought in from London Irish is Kyle Rowe. Just tell us a little bit about Kyle. Yeah, well, Kyle, Kyle's got a, gr a great story um, just in terms of this year. Uh, he, he was a player that, that played club level at Ayr, that, that played uh, Scotland Sevens. Um, didn't get the opportunities at a pro, pro, professional level. He did have one game for Edinburgh, which is the last game of the season down at Scarlets. And I remember watching that game and look at the performances of Kyle, others like Cam Hutchison who played well, and going, well, there's, there's some very good players coming through through our system that just need opportunities. Kyle had to go to, to London Irish to get that opportunity and played well in the pre-season, won his starting spot. Uh, and has had some tremendous games. A hat-trick against Saracens um, was probably the highlight, but just the consistency and how he gets involved um, in the game has, has been really pleasing. 
and he's a player we'd, we want to get to know better, we want to work with and, and see how he adapts in our environment. And Gregor, we see a number of players coming back into the mix after maybe a period of absence. Mark Bennett, Rory Hutchinson, uh, Magnus Bradbury. But one player in particular I want to uh, ask you about is Cam Redpath. He was involved almost a year ago to the day in that match away against England and then has unfortunately been, been injured and, and, and not featured. But how, how important and how great for you to have somebody like Cam coming back in and the other players that I mentioned? Well, it's good timing um, for us and, and for Cam that he, he managed to get a game last weekend. Uh, a top-level game, playing La Rochelle away. He was playing at 10, so the challenge of coming back after eight, man after eight months against the European finalists away from home and playing in a position you've not started at professional level before, uh, he handled it really well, made, made a few breaks. We saw the, the, the strengths of his game come out um, and why he went so well down at Twickenham 12 months ago. But we also are aware that Cam hasn't played a, a lot of rugby, so... Um, we, we won't be rushing him back. Uh, he'll, he'll have to show us at training and over the next two weeks for his, for his team at Bath that he's able to, to go into the international environment again. We hope that's the case, but it, it might take a little bit longer. We've got a lot of competition at centre, so there's some very good players that have missed out, but also it's, been, it's pleasing to, to get Cam back in the squad. Mark Bennett and Rory Hutchison, as, as you mentioned, two, two, two other players that have been in great form. Gregor, England up first, BT Murrayfield in opening game with a full crowd. Does it get much better than that for you and everyone else involved? No. I think only if it was at the end of the, the championship playing for, playing for a trophy. But to, to start with a home game, to start with England, it's our biggest fixture. A biggest fixture for our supporters. We know what it, it means to our nation if, if we win that game. But uh, it's a huge challenge for our players. First game of the, the championship last year and, and our players were very focused on, on delivering a, their best ever performance that day. And I remember the, the days in, that, in our training sessions, the lead up to that, that game, the players delivered um, some outstanding sessions, but also came together as a group. And that's what we're expecting of them over the next two weeks.